hello everyone good morning welcome to my channel that is udu for beginners in this session we are going to continue with those analytic accounts in last my two videos we have delivered the analytic accounts concepts along with the analytic distribution model in this video we are just going to focus on analytic budgets how to manage and what's the purpose behind it to set those analytic budgets here again my agenda is to deliver the concept if the concept will be clear then you can run your use case from your side only okay so i am doing with one example of the construction project we are delivering the services of constructions and we want to track our revenue and expense real time as we have already mentioned our plan amount so without wasting the time let's jump to the database and let's create the project first i am going to create the project here my new project click on the new and construction project with jess mitten this is my project i'm going to create a new project and just going to add this stage okay now here if we i will open the project and let me just add one of the stage and open the project i'm just clicking on three dots and settings in the setting itself you can see that that creation of project create the analytic accounts automatically this is the feature of our analytic accounts okay now here you can see that this analytic account is created automatically we can link our customer also this customer is linked for this analytic accounts now here for this project i want to plan some budget that our revenue will be x amount our expense will be x amount so real time what is the actual cost what is the actual revenue against those plan amount we can find it easily so what i am going to do i am going to set up those analytic budgets so this is my step number 2 i am going to the analytic budgets and creating a new construction project for my jess now here i'm just going to set the period we have to deliver this project in the september i have make those things and clicking on save now here you can see the budget lines are there but before that this important is budget type which kind of budget you want to set as expense is already linked revenue is already linked you want to set the separate for those project you want to set you want to mix both of them then it will be divided it will be decided by this budget type okay here you can see that budget type is three types revenue expense and both revenue means that it will just gonna consider your revenue so you can plan your revenue amount and you can see the exit revenue at the real time against those plan amount this expense same as revenue as expense you can set the plan amount for the expense so at the real time you can track that what is my expense against those plan amount and what is both both is very important it is consider the both revenue as well as your expense the concept will be clear after doing some test cases okay so first of all i am doing for this expense here you have to add the budget line my project is for jess i am adding that and for this project i am budgeting the amount of 40000 dollar okay and if i will click on the open currently you can see that there is no committed there is no achieved means there is no any expense booked for this project so what i am going to do i am going to book one bill for that so this bill is there i am going to create a new my vendor it's a let's consider wood corner okay label is that i am selecting that we require the cement okay here this is very important to link that bill with the analytic account so my project is just my turn okay and the price is for 2000 now what i am going to do i am going to add the bill date for today and i am going to confirm this so we have booked the expense for this project with the 2000s now if i will check the budget analytic budget and i am going to open it so here you can see that your budget is 40000 and your committed and achieved is the 2000 
so as you will do the more expense with the labor with materials for particular those project all will be linked with that and at the real time you can sense that that what will be the actual amount against your plan amount this is the simple thing now here you can see that we have two more columns that committed and achieved what is the difference between that currently you can see that in both columns 2000 is there so now what i am going to do in the previous case i have start with the bill now here i am start with the purchase order i am going to create the purchase order for my this project my product let's consider this one here the linking my just my turn and i am going to add with that 500 now let's me just check with that yeah it's not kitchen cabinet this is the thing with the 500 and i am just going to confirm this and receiving the products and validate this amount is the 500 okay if i will check the budget analytic budgets and if we will open that so here you can see that the committed is now 2500 and the achieved is 2000 so meaning is that committed means we have created the purchase order and we have received those product but till now we haven't created the bill for those purchase order so committed is added with that 500 so it's a 2000 plus 500 is the 2500 but till your achieved is 2000 if i'm going to create the bill then your achieved will be the same as a committed so now let me create the bill for that i am again into the purchase order here this is the same thing that i have created let me check the purchase order is there receipt is there okay this is the thing i am uploading the bill so for uploading the bill let me just using any something different value downloads let me find any pdf for that mm. let's say let's use any any random example okay and as i'm just going to confirm this as i will going to confirm now let's check that yeah, this is the same i have checked so i'm just going to open the analytic budgets now open that here you can see that now your achieved is a two five dollars so this is the difference between committed and achieved now let's do one more thing this is i have set for the expense i'm just going to click on the reset to draft okay and now i'm going to set with the budget type which is the revenue okay and just going to save and for this my revenue is the sixty five thousand. okay and i'm just going to save it and click open now here you can see that achieved is zero now what i am going to do i am going to create the invoice for that just going to create the invoice and linking those analytic account with the invoice so my product is there just let me put the descriptions yeah installations okay and linking those my just amount is my mm, five thousand for the first milestone with the advanced payment I'm just going to confirm it. Now let's check the budget. So if I will open the my budget, analytic budget, and just here currently revenue. Why this is just achieved is zero. Let me check my invoice again. My invoice is there. Let me open that and uh, let me reset to the might be some wrong is selected. Okay, yeah. So what we have to select is construction project. Okay. So I'm just going to select with the constructions and 5000 is there and confirm. Now let's check the budget. I'm going to open the analytic budgets and this is my chance. Here you can see that the 5000 is there. So if more invoice with this project then it will be added over here and you can find what will be the actual revenue at real time. So this both things are clear but now important thing is to understand the budget type when we are selecting the both. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do reset to draft and selecting the both. Now both meaning is that in the budget, in the plan value, I'm considering the revenue as well as my expense. So I'm going to mention this things is my cross. So it will be, let's consider I'm, I'm 90,000. Okay. And I'm just going to put it open. And if I will click on the open, you can see that the now committed is 2500 and achieved is 2500. 
how we get this value let's understand with the audit here you can see that the 90,000 is my budget if I will click on the audit here you can see that my expense is for this project is minus 2000 again expense is 500 so this is my expense of 2500 and my revenue is 5000 so if I'm considering the both so do we is gonna consider the expense as well as revenue for this project so 5000 minus 2500 so 2500 is that I'm going to do one more thing I'm going to do one more creating the invoice for this project so one more invoice I'm selecting my customer my that lines let's consider the installation 2 and again my just construction project and what I am going to do no it's not constructions yeah it's a constructions okay and what I am going to do I am going to add the price of that thousand okay and we are going to just confirm it now let's check my analytic budgets I am going to analytic budgets and I will open for this now here you can see that 3500 is that again audit so 2500 is my expense 6000 is my 6000 minus 2500 so 3500 so this is the simple short agenda is to clear the concept when you have to use those expense revenue and to both kind now this will be impact on your reporting also you want to find those reporting on the profit and loss so what i am going to do going to do with profit and loss now here this is the custom you can select the dates I have just selected for my August to September here you can see the analytic accounts I want to check those profit and loss for this particular account only you want to see by the plan you can do it but for this account I want to check so here everything is done just let me make it more holdable so now this is my construction project your balance your total is that so in this way you can find that what will be your real time profitability one more thing is that just let me go to my budget budget report if we will open the budget report if we want to measure i want to measure for my this project only so here this for my just my turn let me filter for not i want to do for my custom filter this is for budget okay here this is my project and I want to project for jazz and this is the thing for this project your budget is 90,000 you are committed and achieved so using those reporting you can drill down more and which report is required you can find it easily hopefully this concept are clear still you are stuck with any use case you can contact us we are really helpful to support you thank you everyone